Howdy everyone, Gomer the Ranting Thespian here again, and this is just a little filler thing between uh, Zelda and Bionic Commando that I'm throwing at you. Um, okay, to be co totally honest, my GoPro is actually recharging, so I figured, you know what, do a game that I don't necessarily need to uh, have a uh, an on-screen presence for at this point. Uh, this is Super Win the Game, as you can see. Uh, I actually got this as a Christmas present from my lovely girlfriend and title card artist. Yay! Because <laughs> she knows what I like, and I know what she likes. Um, so yeah, we're just going to start a new game. I remember this place as if in a dream. A dream from which I could never wake. And of course, this is basically a training area. You know, get you to, get you to learn the basics. X to read signs if you're using an Xbox controller. A to jump, ring bells to save your progress. Just like the old game. This is actually the sequel to You Have to Win the Game, by the way. Uh, for those who don't already know, up enters doors. Um, keys open doors. This is a new one. Now, because of how I run this game, I'm actually not going to open that door. Because if you read while I was actually blabbing over it, uh, you can actually go back and go to the left and just skip everything else and have an extra key. Uh, like so. I bet you think you're pretty clever, don't you? My dreams weren't always haunted. Once upon a time, they were rich and vibrant. This is their story. An overworld map? Holy shit! What kind of dragon warrior nonsense is this? Yeah, and and of course you get like, I think there's like 128, 120, I want to say it's 128 gems in this game that you can get to get various items, and of course for completion's sake. Um, you come in here, you can talk to her. Six pieces of the king's heart. That's This is your quest. You have to get the six pieces of the hollow king's heart, return it to him, and restore peace to the land. Basically. And this lady tells you where they are. I just kind of scrolled through them because I already know. Uh, you come in here this way, I believe. That opens the way to subcom con the subconscious. Which is kind of like a, a hub, an, an, a uh, shortcut world. This goes to the waterways. I'm not going to go in there just yet. That's going to come a little bit later. I am very ill-equipped for it. Uh, so, yeah. So where I want to go first is I'm going to go to the east. And this is Lakewood. The Arcadian passed through not long ago. Okay, cool. What's an Arcadian? I thought I saw a rat around here. Well... I like something good in the basement. Ooh, what's in the basement? Yeah, eventually you can get a skeleton key. Oh, hey! Kitty! Oh my god, kitty, 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 I, I think the sixth doctor would like me a lot. <laughs> and plus, I'm. Man, hey, look, replacement key already. Uh, you can get replacement keys. By the way, down goes through certain platforms. Keys can also be bought here. Well, you can be loaned a key. And he just found a key that he's just going to give to me. But there are key lenders throughout the world. It really doesn't do anything. I've never had to use one. Here's your basic item shop. Jeweler, basically. Uh, you can buy keys for two for, for two gems each. Or you can get a skeleton key, which works like the magic key from The Legend of Zelda for 30. And right now, wrong button. I have only two gems. So... <laughs> that inventory screen is going to fill up quite a bit. That's your fortune teller. If I get lost, I go to her and, and, well, she'll tell me where to go. Anyway. So this, this layout works a lot like Zelda 2. In that, um, you know, you have the overworld, then you have your side scroller maps, which makes makes my um, uh, initial comparison to Dragon Warrior a little unapt. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope everything is balancing out well for you guys, uh, audio-wise, because I spent a little bit of time before this trying. Uh, no, I want to use a key. Go in there. 
trying to um, trying to actually uh, balance it out. Unfortunately, right now I'm using a, a one a, a one uh, one eared headset. Okay, here we go. Hail Wayfarer, welcome to my tower. Can I trouble you to fetch something for me? Oh, a fetch quest. Okay, huzzah! In the dungeon to the east, there is an orb that emits a crimson aura. I would very much like to study it. Bring me this orb, and I will give you gems in return. Well, a gem. Uh, and we can just exit out. There's little secret patches here, too. Bats. Making a return from the first game. Yay. Who are you? I like to come here... I like to come to these woods for peace and quiet. And the goddamn bats. Apparently. Ooh, listen to that music. Are you headed into the dungeon? Be careful. This looks like something out of Zelda 2. This dungeon was once the King's Palace. Ooh. Alright, so to get to the Crimson Aura, you go this way. I'll be coming back here later on and going the other way, but for now, we're just going to go this way. And of course, as with the original game, you do ha it's basically one hit, you die. And you restart back at the, at the uh, bells. Last I checked, there's I don't there's not really a difficulty setting, so it's all the same game. And this leads to the exit. Every dungeon has one of these in some way, shape, or form, uh, or at least this one and the one to the south do. I think, the, yeah, the one to the well, one to the west doesn't need it, and one to the north doesn't need it. So, and this one here, I think, leads right to the Crimson Aura. So we go in here, do this. Oh yeah, you remember those things that were just decoration in the first game? Well, they try and kill you now. Crimson Aura activates red ghost blocks. Whee! Yay! Also in the rooms with all of these different items, y you can read from a book. This is what was written. This recurring dream won't leave me alone. Whoa! You gotta go through all of these dream sequences. Oh dear. Okay. I'm going the wrong way, apparently. There we go. Ah! These aren't too hard to get through. It's the sleepless watch over us. But they are not our allies. Do you hear the chimes, Wayfarer? This game is going to try and mindfuck us. I felt as if I'd been away for years. At least I still had all my teeth. Okay. So, anyway. If you try to read it again, you'll return to the dungeon entrance. And there you go. There's one other thing I want to check out while I'm here, actually. Before I forget. Uh, I really should have done that before... Well, you know what? Shortcut! I can come down here. And look at that. Those ghost blocks fill up quite nicely, don't they? And this goes to Subcon. And oh, this is all it is. It's just pretty much a hub world. This leads right to Stemmons Community, that first place that I showed you. I don't think I read a sign or anything. Welcome to Subcon. Use these doors to travel quickly across the world. Which is good. Of course, if you see the big uh, no symbol there, can't open it from this side. So you gotta go to each area and open it from their respective sides. Um, no music here, uh, which is kind of a, a, a kind of a good send there. By the way, fake wall. <laughs> it's one of those guy damn it moments. I know I know the trope is guy dang it, but I call it guy damn it because god damn it. Can't do much here without different power ups. So I'll have to come back here. Yeah, I'm going through the spikes. How about that? <laughs> So, we're, with this, we're done here with all we need to do. Let's hit Subcon. And look at this. Boom! Right back to Stemmons Community. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there is a sign. See? So, we went to the east. Now, let's go to the south. Mushrooms! They bouncy, bouncy! Whee! Now, at this point, if you fall into water, as I'll show you, you die. But we're going to be averting that a whole bunch later on. Just just to prepare you. 
Oh wait, I think there's this... Oh yeah. <laughs> this is something I actually discovered late in one of my original runs. It's this area. There's poison shit down there that, that of course, will kill you. And there's a gem above it. How do we get it? Well, we'll find out. Well, you guys will find out. I already know. Oh, hey, a cave. That sound. That sound means there are spikes coming in and out of the walls. Hey, who are you? There's a secret at the base of the sky pillars. Oh, a hint. Hinty lady. Sometimes using death like that um, works as a shortcut. <laughs> I admit, I kind of like the music, you know? Ah. I am a sucker for good video game music. Alright, so what's in here? It's rough out here in the desert. What is this? Revolver Crossing. Okay. Don't need you. How many gems? Five. I'm doing poorly on my gem quest this time around. But I can get another one. I like to try and get 30 gems as soon as possible. That way, hey, I can actually have <laughs> the skeleton key. Ah! And this is the southern area, the southern temple. I think it's the ruins. Yeah, the ruins. Scorpions. And of course, you can't kill any enemies, technically. You know, you can't really kill them. There's some lava there. Goddamn bat. Whee! How would you like to do that? Jump on a mushroom and land on a palm tree. That would be so awesome. So hot outside, I wish I could swim. Well, that's what happens when you don't have arms, asshole. Gave up trying to find the treasure in this ruin. Eh, eh you're stubby. The strange man in the next room will talk your ear off if you let him. I might let him do that. Hello, Wayfarer. I am one of the Arcadians. I serve as the custodians of this ruin. Perhaps you have met my kin already. Yeah, I have. I actually need to go back and see him. Do you wish to hear the story of how we came to this place? Sure. We Arcadians once traveled in great silver vessels across endless seas of stars. We sought curiosities from dimensions beyond the very limits of our imaginations. But the old ways have been forgotten, and here we are and we are stranded here. I have taken it upon myself to guard this ruin and its secrets. In the depths of this ruin you will find an orb containing an electric blue light. I challenge you, seek out this orb. The path will not be easy, but with courage you may prevail. Bring me the orb as proof of your courage, and I will tell you what I know of this land. Ooh, information. Sweet. We get to hear information, backstory, fucking spiders, and drop lifts. And thwomps. I know they're not really called thwomps, but, you know. Now, you get, now you look down there, that top one, you'd think it would be suicide to go and try and jump in there with him, right? Whoop! Actually, kind of is. <laughs> Unless you get to the hidden wall. Uh. Lordy, lordy. So this, if you've played Super Mario Bros. 3, you know this kind of platform. You jump on it, it changes direction. Hooray, hooray, hooray! Hello, Mr. Bat. Now, I think I may end up indulging in a little bit of sequence breaking. Nothing. Ah, fuck. Was not quick enough. <laughs> At least I got the door to Subcon open, so... But, goddammit, I want a sequence break, motherfuckers. Ugh! They do! Alright, I should be able to go right through here. Now, here's the thing. There are invisible enemies here. Can't see them, but they're here. Damn. Damn it! Yeah, 
there are invisible things here. And knowing where they are, or about where they are, this is one of the six pieces of the king's heart. I've already found the one here. And hey, look! More invisible shit! Except this time it's invisible platforms. Where this guy dropping bullets on everything it will be a little bit more helpful. Ah! Fuck! That's okay. I can just go around the other way. Uh oh. There's another wall you can go through. Helpfully pointed out by arrows, by the way. Ow! Okay. Damn it. I've done it before, and I've been okay, just, um, there we go, okay. It's a snake! And there we go, the blue aura. Will you read from the book? Yes! This is what was written. I empathize with dying stars. Those once shining beacons of prosperity now only recall the sublime architecture of dreams. Okay. So with this one, we've got to get to a certain place, naturally. Well, just like all of them. I think we go this way. Looks like it. Yeah, a lot of big, chompy, thwompies. Long, long, long. The sleepless are watching. I saw a faceless figure rise slowly and turn in my direction. Is it the faceless old woman that lives in my house? I can't stop these things from coming true. Who are you, Paul Atreides? My Muad'Dib, return to the dungeon entrance, but before I go, I will come back later, just... It's gonna be a little bit... <laughs> So I want to go ahead and grab this. This is why you need to go back and talk to these guys after you get those particular items. Wayfarer. You have done well, Wayfarer. I shall tell you what I know. Long ago, a daughter of the Sleepless was born with a magic touch. She traced her finger across the sky, bringing new worlds into existence. Of all her creations, this one was her favorite, and she filled it with a great many treasures. This world was ruled by a benevolent king, and for a time it flourished under his rule. But the king put his trust in a nefarious wizard from the nether realm. The evil wizard placed the king under a curse, and together they have dragged this land into darkness. Long have we awaited the appearance of a wayfarer who could restore the king's heart and end the wizard's wicked, wicked rule. If you are that one, as I sense you are, it is your destiny to travel this land and uncover its secrets. Yeah, of course you can't because I'm the fucking player character. My kin are stationed near each of these world's towns. Seek them out and they will tell you more. There's one more thing I must tell you. You do not yet possess all the abilities you will need to traverse this land. From this ruin, head north to the first dune, then east as far as your legs will carry you. I have hidden something there which will help you. I apologize, Wayfarer, I talk too much. Ah, hey, a fellow Motormouth. Thank you for listening to my stories. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. I sense these trinkets may be may serve you beyond their monetary value. And I got a gem. Lovely. So we're up to, what, ten? Okay. A third of the way there. Sweet. So we get to go get his treasure. What is this treasure? And mushroom bounds! And, yeah. Yeah, how is everything not melting there? Lava is boiling Kool-Aid, apparently. Hi! And we walk out. Walk out of the ruins. Like a boss. Fuck you, Scorpion. I'm the boss. Alright, so he said first dune, and then walk to the east as far as your legs can carry you. Oh, hey! Secret area. The Arcadian's secret cache, no stealing. Yeah, like that sign is gonna stop me. Oh, no. 
So you need the blue aura in order to be able to get this. Because for whatever reason, they put it up here. I got a snorkel. Snorkel will allow you to go underwater. Magic snorkel allows breathing underwater. Which is pretty awesome. Unfortunately, you don't, you technically don't swim. And you can walk on some water too. And there you go, an immediate proof of concept. There's a few more, there's like one other, ah, here it is. And we actually hit some, oh, whoops. Ah, we can actually hit some of the waterways, even on the bridges, because because it all connects, really. But I don't want to go in the waterways just yet, because they will lead to the underground waterways and all of that stuff, and I'm not quite prepared to go into those areas just yet. Or maybe I am, and I'm just being a big chicken. Now, another proof of concept. I've got the water... I've got the snorkel, so that means I should be able to swim, right? Well... No. That's toxic shit. We don't go in there. So, my next journey... Which will actually be in the next video, because I'm running a little long on this one. Or at least I feel I am. I may, I may not be, I don't know. But, we'll get back to the center of the map. Which is where I want to go. Bouncy on the mushrooms! Yay. So. <clears throat> so at any rate, that is going to be it for part one of Super Win the Game. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, part two, don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, who knows, it might might be within the same week, might not be. This one I'm not going to focus as heavily on simply because I've got the Zelda run to finish and I've got the Bionic Commando trilogy coming up. So um, this one won't be as updated as often. It'll just be a periodic update. Um, but at any rate, if you guys enjoy it, please consider checking out my Patreon, becoming a patron. It would be great. You get stuff like this early along with other perks, but that's what I have a Patreon video for. <laughs> Uh, go check it out, patreon.com slash gomer21xx. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. <laughs>